I now want to get into managing uh, users in bulk, like bulk creation and all of that. Uh, so this can be done pretty easily. Let me show you a little bit about how we can do it. I'm going to go here on portal.azure.com. I'm going to click the menu button. We're going to go down to Azure Active Directory. Okay, we're going to click on Users. And then at that point, you'll notice that there is an option here called Bulk Operations. So I can bulk create users, I can bulk invite guests, or I can bulk delete. So we're going to click Bulk Create. And we're going to download this little CSV spreadsheet. Okay, and I'm going to open that spreadsheet. I'm going to open that up using uh, Excel. All right, here's what it looks like. And they give an example of creating some users. Okay, um, like they're they're showing you how to create a user named Chris Green giving you an example of that. I'm going to create a user named Beth Donaldson. Okay. Username will be Beth Donaldson at examlabpractice.com and then password. I'll just do this as my password. All right. And then block sign in no first name Beth last name Donaldson uh, job title will say finance, finance manager, finance department. You could specify usage location, so on and so forth. I'm not going to fill all these out, but we'll leave it at that. And then let's delete Chris Green. We're going to create another user, and I'll call this username uh, Jack Carlson. Username Jack. Carlson at examlabpractice.com. Got to make sure I don't typo any of that. Temporary password, block sign in, put in the first and last name. Okay. And then maybe Jack Carlson is part of IT. Okay. So we'll say IT admin. All right. We'll just leave it at that. So then we've now got our. Um, our users and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to save this and we'll upload it to Azure okay so I saved it in Excel and then I just selected it here by clicking the folder icon and now I'm going to click to submit and this will take just a moment but hopefully it will create our two users for us alright it says it succeeded so we're going to close out of that and let's refresh and see if our users are there there's Beth Donaldson, so you can see that Beth was created. And then uh, let's see if Jack Carlson. So there's Jack Carlson. So as you can see, this could definitely come in handy in a situation where you uh, your company was hiring a bunch of people and the HR department gave you a spreadsheet full of people. Or maybe you work for like a university or a college and you have like a enrollment period where the enrollment people give you a spreadsheet with a bunch of users you could uh, you know format it correctly and then import this in all right let's jump over um, to portal.microsoft.com and look at its the side its side of all this so we'll click on users we're gonna click on active users and then right here it says add multiple users so you'll notice that you have the ability to um, type in user information right here and create users this way you can add more roles if you want. It says you can enter up to 249 uh, users with temporary passwords. The other thing is you can also upload a CSV file here as well. So this is just another way to go about it. They even have a nice little video you can watch on that if you want. Um, so pretty straightforward uh, as far as adding users to our, um, you know, through the, the graphical tool. Now the last thing I want to show you is how we could create users in PowerShell and all, as well as if we wanted to import a CSV file. Um, if you go to Google or Bing and do a quick search on create Microsoft 365 user accounts with PowerShell, you can find this little article right here. And they tell you the process of, uh, of doing this. Now the first thing that they tell you is that you need to connect to your Microsoft 365 tenant from within PowerShell. And we will take a look at how we can do that. Um, if we 
go right here. I'm in PowerShell, and of course you can get into PowerShell uh, with your operating system by right-clicking the Start button and going to Terminal or PowerShell, depending on what operating system you've got. But it's going to bring you into PowerShell regardless. And then the first thing I need to do is I got to make sure that I have the commands that are needed for this. And I can check to see if I have the commands by typing git dash command space dash uh, noun star msol star. That's going to show me if, the, if I got the commands. And I don't. So I'm going to type install dash module ms online. And I'm going to hit enter. All right, so this is going to allow me to download and install the Microsoft 365 commands that I'm going to need in order to uh, utilize PowerShell, okay, or utilize uh, PowerShell commands to create users. So first thing, if this is the first time you've ever done this, it will ask you to, to install something called NuGet, which is a downloader uh, package that's used for PowerShell. I've actually already got it, so it did not ask that question but I would normally just hit yes to that and hit enter. Now, the other thing it's gonna say is that this is downloading from an untrusted repository. Am I sure that I wanna download this? Now, why is it downloading from an untrusted repository? Well, it's downloading from something called PowerShell Gallery, which is a gallery of PowerShell commands that is owned by Microsoft, but it is also open to the community. So, um, people that are not necessarily working for Microsoft can upload new commands to PowerShell to the PowerShell gallery. The good news is they do have moderators that are checking to make sure that people aren't creating commands that do damage. Um, but anyway, for the most part, even though it says it's an untrusted repository, I'm going to say yes to that because I do trust it. And it's installing those commands right now. And it looks like it's done. So now if I hit the up arrow a couple of times, I should be able to um, type uh, the git command dash noun and start msol star. And we should see that the uh, msol commandlets are going to show up okay so here they are as you can see they are showing up uh, and there is a command if I scroll up there is a command called get msol user so if I type that command get msol user and I hit enter okay it's going to try to connect to my uh, Azure Active Directory service and show me, but then it tells you there's a problem. It says you got to connect to your MSOL service before you can do this. So we're going to type connect dash MSOL service. We're going to hit enter and it's going to allow us to authenticate to the Microsoft 365 and Azure AD service. And at that point, we should be able to run the commands. All right. So here it is popping up the sign in box. And then I'm going to put in my credentials. All right, and at that point, if everything went smoothly, I should get just a prompt. Okay, so now I'm going to type git dash msol uh, user. I'm going to hit enter. And in, there we go. It's displaying my users including uh, my most recent users that I've created, Beth Donaldson, um, and then the Jack Carlson user. All that's been created. Okay, let's say I want to create a user. Um, there is a new a command called new-msol user that I can run. Okay, and if we actually go back over to that article that I had pulled up, you can, you can see the command right here. I can copy it, actually, and then... Um, I could just, I should just be able to right click and it'll paste it in there. And um, you don't have to necessarily use all of it, but I'll just use this part of it. These are the required part pieces of it. So then I'll just change out a couple things. So let's create a user and I'll, uh, I'll call this user um, Alice. Actually, let's do this. Alice Peterson, all right, first name Alice, last name Peterson, and then the user principal name, which is going to be basically the email address type name. So we'll say Alice 
Peterson at examlabpractice.com and I'm gonna hit it and all right it created the user and it also created a temporary password all right and I should be able to type get msol user and see that that user has been created okay uh, so there it is Alice Peterson in fact I also should be able to jump back over here and go to active users and we should see that that user is showing up in the graphical here as well. There it is, Alice, Alice Peterson. It would show up in Azure AD on the Azure portal side as well. Okay. The, the last thing I'll point out is that um, on this document, they also tell you that you can, um, you can create multiple users by using a CSV file. So you could create that same CSV file that you saw me use a minute ago and you can use this little import-csv command and you can actually import it it'll create the accounts that way so those are going to be the ways that we can utilize uh, the creation of users for bulk creation hey this is john christopher i hope you enjoyed that video and i want you to know that i'm trying really hard to grow this channel so i hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe also if you'll check the description in this video i've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses i have lots of different microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam all right thanks a lot for watching the video and i hope to see you again <music>